member from Kitchener Waterloo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Over the last few days, we've learned that the people of Ontario will once again be forced to pay for this government's incompetence when it comes to the SAMS file. The disastrous implementation of SAMS hurts some of the most vulnerable people in this province, and now we know the minister knew of the problems all along. The Auditor General highlighted concerns of consultants overseeing consultants in her last scathing report. In response, the Premier has decided to hire the same consultants to fix the issues they got wrong in the first place and to pay them an extra $32 million, adding insult to injury. Will the Premier admit she has failed vulnerable citizens and frontline workers across the province and demand her minister's resignation immediately? Mr. Speaker, we recognize that there were challenges with the initial implementation of SAMS. We have said that. The minister has said that. Um, we asked uh, for a review, Mr. Speaker. Um, we looked for recommendations to help us to, uh, to fix the system, Mr. Speaker. And following the report of the review, Mr. Speaker, the implementation of a transition plan was put in place to address the exact challenges that, uh, that were still remaining with SAMS, Mr. Speaker. So we fixed 100 per cent of the, uh, the priority issues that were identified by the front line. And I think I think that's what's critical, Mr. Speaker. The minister went to the front line. She met with the people who were working with the system. She talked to them about what the challenges were and addressed those challenges as they were identified by the people who were having to work with this new system, Mr. Speaker. So I am satisfied that that work ha has uh, been undertaken, Mr. Speaker. And can we learn from that yes, process? Sir. Absolutely, Mr. Speaker. And uh, and I think that's that is our. It's incumbent upon us to do that. Supplementary. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Let me get this right. The minister didn't see the internal memo addressed to her outlining these problems. She didn't see the interim report highlighting the same problems. She apparently didn't know about the implementation problems multiple jurisdictions experienced with SAMS-like programs. She just had no idea what was going on in her own ministry when it came to SAMS. Speaker, the minister should know what's going on in her ministry. Now the people of Ontario are left to pay the price again. Will the Premier hold this minister to account and demand her resignation? I know that the, uh, the member opposite will have read the whole memo, and she will know that uh, there were issues that were identified, and there were assurances to the minister that those issues were being dealt with, Mr. Speaker. That is the reality of an implementation of a complex and large system, that issues are identified, and then there is a, a request from the minister's office that they be dealt with, and the, uh, the assurance then that they are being dealt with, Mr. Speaker. Now, were there still challenges that remained when SANS was being implemented? Absolutely. But I'll go back to the previous question about the implementation of CPIN, Mr. Speaker. We've got one opposition party saying, hurry up, implement a system more quickly, put kids at risk, Mr. Speaker, and don't be careful. And we've got another, we've got another party saying you should have slowed down. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, we are we have dealt Answer. with the issues around SANS, Mr. Speaker, have learned from that process. They are complex implementations, and we are going to make sure that we get them right in the future, Mr. Speaker.